Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some snow hacks and ways to entertain your kids in the snow. We have had it all week where we live, which is actually very rare. So it's been very exciting. I can't remember having this much snow for so long since I was pregnant with Fraser over 10 years ago. So it's very exciting anyway, but I've been amazed at how much the kids have been playing outdoors in the snow. And I've been on Pinterest. I found some really cool activities so I thought I would share them with you guys. So I hope you really like this video and don't worry if you live in a warm place, I am also gonna include one hack of how you can actually make snow at home. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. And with all that said, let's get into the snow hacks. So the first snow activity is a volcano that you can then erupt. This was so much fun to do and very easy. Just make a mound of snow and then put a bottle of Diet Coke in the middle. And we learned it works better with room temperature or warm Diet Coke. Then add four to five Mentos to make it erupt and watch the kids get so excited. They loved doing this. And another way is to actually mix baking soda and vinegar and food coloring. That also works. But this really did get the height and the kids loved it and it's also kind of homeschooling. Another easy idea is to make a snow sensory bin or it could be a bowl or whatever you have but I've just filled up this bin with some clean snow and then I'm adding in some toys. Bath toys work really well because they're waterproof and also his beach shovels worked great for this as well so I just put that in there and then while we were all playing outside he was digging up his toys and he really loved it so it's just a nice idea to keep them outside playing in the snow for a little bit longer. Next up, I wanted to show you how to make maple taffy. This is a delicious winter treat and it's so easy to do. You just need maple syrup and some snow. Or if you don't have snow, you can also do this on ice. And it makes me so nostalgic because we used to do this when I was growing up in Canada. So I'm sure all the Canadians know this and some Americans as well, but I wanted to show it to everyone. So just get some maple syrup and I'm using 100% pure. And I'm gonna pour that into a saucepan. I didn't actually measure it but I think it was about a cup but it doesn't really matter how much you put in what matters more is the temperature that you get it to if you have a meat thermometer or a candy thermometer you want to get it to 235 Fahrenheit or 115 Celsius then take it off the heat once it's hit that temperature and let the bubbles die down and if you don't have a thermometer you can check if it's ready by putting a drop into cold water and if it sticks together like this that it is ready. Then using some compacted snow that you've like packed down, I've put this in a baking tray, just pour the hot maple syrup over it in strips and then just leave it for a minute. And what this snow or ice is doing is just stopping it from cooking and it makes it this taffy texture. You don't wanna actually leave it too long. Um, you can give the kids a popsicle stick and then they can start rolling it up quite soon after you've poured it onto the snow. And it's so delicious. Obviously it's pure maple syrup, but it becomes this like taffy texture and it's really, really yummy. So you can do this outside or you can do it inside like I did. All you need is some clean packed down snow. And then once you've made it, you can just enjoy. We also tried snow painting and I found this activity on Pinterest and it was very easy to set up. So all you need is some squeezy bottles or it could be some drinking bottles or even spray bottles, really whatever you have. And you wanna fill them up with cold water and then you wanna add in a few drops of food coloring. I get some vibrant food coloring on Amazon and it's so great for using in food, but also for activities like this. So you just wanna put in a few drops. We started to make a yellow one and then regretted it so then we tried to make it orange so we wouldn't make like yellow snow um, but we also made a blue one and a purple one and a red one so we just filled them all up gave them a bit of a shake and then we let the kids go outside and paint with them. And they really liked it. It actually kept them going for quite a while. Um, and you could either take it outside like this, or you can also bring it indoors. So I actually put some snowballs into a muffin tin and Jackson also painted those. So yeah, it's just quite a cool one. They can make shapes or they can make rainbows and obviously it's just food coloring. Um, but obviously because the snow is white, it's very effective. So yeah, quite a fun one. 
And bringing snow inside is another hack that you can do. And I was amazed at how long snow lasts inside. We filled up a big bowl like this and brought it indoors to play with. So if your child is very little or just hates the cold or it's extremely freezing outside, you can actually bring it inside for some fun. The boys were like digging up little pepper toys and they were just fascinated by it. So this is another cool hack. Something else that was really cute when it was snowing was we changed Jackson's mud kitchen into a snow kitchen. So all we did was bring out some utensils from our kitchen and then a few things from his little toy cafe, like some pots and pans, a little kettle, and then some teacups as well. And we just left them there for him to play with. And he really loved it. He was making little snow cups of tea for everyone. This might be Jackson's personality because he loves playing shops and cafe I swear he's gonna have a shop one day he really seems to enjoy like serving people food and stuff um, but yeah he was there for ages so it's quite a sweet idea to bring a few things outside I also wanted to show you how to make snow dough if you live in a place that doesn't currently have snow. This is such a simple activity. All you need is two cups of corn flour or cornstarch, half a cup of oil, it could be vegetable oil or baby oil, and then some glitter if you have it. Just combine all of that in a bowl together and that is it. You then have a very glittery, crunchy dough, which is a little bit like snow. And I love to have corn flour in the house because because you can also make a very simple Play-Doh just by combining equal parts of corn flour and hair conditioner. So that's something that I have done with the kids for years. And then you can just play with the dough. Jackson likes to cut it up or use cookie cutters on it, but it's just something different and a really cool texture. And depending on the oil, it can smell really good. Something else that we played in the snow that is so simple that I almost feel silly telling you about is to play knots and crosses or tic-tac-toe in the snow. So you just need to find some fresh snow and then draw a little grid for the kids and then let them play tic-tac-toe or knots and crosses. They used the beach shovel as you can see, but then you can also use like sticks or acorns if you wanted to and they really liked it. And the last little snow activity or snow hack that I wanted to share with you is a target practice. Again, this is such a simple idea, but it kept our kids busy for ages. They were throwing snowballs at these icicles, but I was thinking you could actually draw out some circles or like a target or hang something up because they were just chucking snowballs for so long until they actually hit the icicles down. The whole family was getting involved. So I also wanted to show you that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.